Let's have a look at 3DIC. And whenever we talk to people about this, what immediately comes up is, are three questions. The first one is, yo, how do we deal with the systemic complexity of this? That's a lot of chiplets. Secondly, how do we actually find optimal solutions among multiple chips in terms of PPA? And lastly, how do we verify with the tools that exist that this will actually work? So let's zoom in briefly into each one of those, starting with scale. And really, from my perspective, scale is fundamentally connectivity and connectors more than anything else. And if you look at the bottom right, the notion of creating the new bumps, I was quite surprised, actually, seeing the following uh, timeline. And what you see here is essentially how connectors have gone, become way, way, way smaller. And the density, which is the first number under these pictures, has gone from 10 to 10,000 or more bumps per square millimeter. That's enormous. While meanwhile, the power to actually transmit a signal has gone steadily down. So excellent, excellent progress in that. Now, to design with all of this takes a lot of effort. And optimality starts by understanding the top-down picture, how the different uh, multiple chips fit together, how they are connected. And then there's a whole set of mechanisms that are specialized to optimize different aspects of the chip. Now, there are many here. I won't go into detail. Let me just highlight the middle one at the bottom, the ne necessity to also revisit testing. How do you test? a multiplicity of chips, where each one in isolation may be considered as being functional, but together it still has to be proven. And then, of course, there's a lot of verification and optimization that goes into this. And notice that in the pictures that I have here, there's quite a bit of colored uh, surfaces. And this, of course, has to do with the fact that thermal effects are absolutely essential. We know and we use inside of transistors stress for speed, but we don't like stress on chips as they tend to warp, and that causes all kinds of issues. Be it as it may, there's a lot of EDA that is now going into this, and actually 3DIC is alive and growing very rapidly. 